Hello, I'm Bridget from Bridget Flowers. Do you need a last minute gift for a party? Keep on watching because today I'm going to teach you how to decorate a wine bottle with flowers as a creative gift. So what you need for this is some tools. So we need a floral snipper, we need a scissor, we need floral tape and some twine. We need of course a nice wine bottle with I would say not too big label on it. Uh, and then we need some flowers, um, something that you might have left over in your vase or something that you can find in your garden, little bits of trailing green, something natural. Um, so yeah, keep on watching uh, and we're gonna start working. Okay, so first we start with our wine bottle. We're having a look and thinking like where do we want to have uh, the flowers. So I always like it to put it on the neck. We're gonna put some trailing green higher up and some grass is going down. So I'm gonna take some flowers, make a small posy, tie it and then I tape it to the bottle. And finally we decorate it maybe with some ribbons or something that looks nice. So the first step is to have some flowers and I have here some calla lilies because I think the color lilies, they always look very elegant and they're small but look really great on a bottle. So I'm gonna place two of them over here. Then I use a little bit of jasmine that I found in my garden because the jasmine is flowering at the moment so that gives a nice perfume. So the jasmine I'm gonna place behind the color lilies and I also have another bit that I'm gonna place in the front so again, when you make this posy, put it on the vase and see what you think looks good. So when we have this bit ready, we're going to start tying it. And when we tied it, afterwards we're going to add more flowers and more greens, more grasses, to make a final decoration. So we tie it with some twine, just a tiny bit. and make just one knot on it, you see? And then at the end, we're gonna cut all the stems back and then we tape it on the bottle. So every now and then you pick up the posy and you place it on the side of the bottle to see if the flowers are going in the right position. And also where you tie the posy, that's where you're gonna tape it at the end with, with the flower tape. So the flower tape can't cover the label because the recipient needs to see what kind of wine or what kind of Prosecco in my case they will receive. Let's take some extra flowers. So I have here some baby roses. And baby roses are actually perfect for this because they are so small and you can take two or three little ones. And I'm gonna place them next to the color lilies. So you take of course all the leaves off and then your colors will be the highest flower. Then I'm gonna put the lilies here, slightly cascading down. And again, you put it next to the bottle, see how it comes out. And then you can tie it again. So I tie it again here with a piece of string that I have. Oops, huh? And then I think I need a little bit of a uh, little bit more color. So I have here some night green hydrangeas. So I'm gonna pick off a little bit from that. And even this is too big, so I'm gonna make it even smaller. And of course you can find maybe things in your garden or if it's winter maybe you have some, uh, some, some indoor plants with some nice leaves that you can use. Okay, let me show you how to tie the hydrangea to the posy. I choose a hydrangea because lots of people they have hydrangeas in their garden and they flower already from now we're in the summer so it's July and they flower all the way up to October, November. So there's always a tiny bit that you can use. Um, and your hydrangea has so many small petals and it folds nicely around the flowers as a little scarf. So we just tie the string around and it doesn't matter if the back doesn't look nicely because that part we place against the bottle so that can be empty. As long as you make sure that the front side looks good, that's what we are gonna see. And then again, you look and see how it works with the bottle. So finally, I'm gonna add a few more bits of greenery to make my posy complete. So I have here some scabiosa and the scabiosa has some really cute buds that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna 
take two off and then I'm gonna place one high rope next to the baby roses you see like here and then I'm gonna place another one slightly upside down so this looks good and maybe it's a good idea now to cut the stems off because that works a bit easier uh, but just keep in mind that you don't make the stems too short because then the posy will be too heavy on the top and uh, you need a bit of balance to keep it uh, straight up on the bottle. So we tie these bits of, uh, of scabiosa and then also I think I'm going to add a tiny bit more grasses on it uh, because if you have some grasses that looks always really nice um, and, and it gives it a bit more, bit more glamorous. So you see this is done. And then take a bit of grass. See, I'm gonna put them on the top. And also if you like, you can put some on the bottom. And then again, we tie it. And then is our posy finished. And uh, we're gonna tape it to the bottle. So when you have your posy ready, make sure turn it around that there are no bits of twine hanging around and otherwise cut them off. So we're gonna take our black floral tape, and take a piece of, let's say, a five inch, which you're gonna cut off. Then take your posy and the piece where you tied your flowers together, that's where we're gonna put the tape over. And then in one go, we place the whole thing on the bottle. Opsa, you see? And then I think it's nice if we're gonna hide this bit of tape with some ribbon. Um, so you always have like a little bit of ribbon or lace or something hanging around at home. Um, so that's one we're gonna take and we're gonna tie it over this bit of tape. And then when you have your, your posy ready, I think it's also a nice idea for, for future events. Uh, if you have like a gift ready, for example a box to decorate it as well with a posy, um, you, can, you can go many ways with making it extra nice with some flowers. The final touches to complete the gift is to put some ribbon. And I have found some nice lace ribbon in my box of goodies. Uh, but maybe you have some silk ribbon, um, anything that would match the flowers or the label would be good. And if you have nothing at all, you can always use a few layers of twine. Just twist it around to hide the tape. So as I said, I have here this nice piece of lace. So I'm just gonna tie it very simple around the bottle and to hide the tape and also I don't want to have a really big bow just something small and elegant dangling down and when you make an arrangement like this just do it last minute because as you see the flowers don't have any water to drink so don't make it hours before the party starts because maybe some bits of flowers or green they would be droopy so just one hour before you leave to the, go to the party make it and it's ready to go so I hope you all have a nice one as well. Uh, and please let me know if you want me to decorate another gift uh, with flowers for you um, and any other questions that you might have. So don't forget to subscribe my channel for more floral ideas and inspiration. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.